morning. Today we are here live at an elementary school with Kelly Heads and Nicholas, where we'll be checking out learning opportunities for students to be physically active. When speaking with Kelly earlier today, should we talk about what daily physical activity, also known as DPA, looks like, sounds like, and feels like for her students, and also how purposeful movement are, is embedded for student learning. For Kelly's class, DPA can happen inside her classroom. It can also happen down this lovely hallway, and it can also happen outside. Please keep watching to see Kelly's approach to movement and explore how you can get student choice, student voice into your daily physical activity programming for your classroom today. So let's check out inside. Please make sure you comment and add your questions below. We'll make sure we answer them at the end of our DPA session. Come on in. Okay, boys and girls, why don't you just stop where you are for a minute, couple of minutes. Let's do some movement, let's do some DPA. So just kind of leave your work where it is, finish your sentence off if you need to. Find a partner in the room that wants to do the same kind of DPA as you today. So if you feel like you need to take a good stretch or do some deep breathing, find somebody else who wants to do that with you. If you need to do something more vigorous, find somebody who wants to do that, okay? And make sure you please, please, please tuck in your chairs so you have as much space as possible. Go. Check it out. We have some students back here in the back corner of the classroom doing their jumping jacks, something a bit more vigorous. Over here we have some students on the ground. They're doing some light physical activity, embedding their stretching with their partners. Let's take a look around the classroom to see what's happening today in Kelly's intermediate students with their class. <laughs> Check it out, we also got Kelly working with two of her students over here. Awesome to see positive role modeling for our students in this classroom. It's nice to see that students are allowed to embed their student choice and student voice in what movement looks like, sounds like, and feels like for them. This is a great way to embed quality physical activity for their student learning throughout their day. So check it out. The number one rule to any successful programming is making sure that you know your learner and you know how they learn best. This is good teaching practice in all grades and in all subject areas. For Kelly, it was a long journey. They co-created an anchor chart to ensure that students understand the expectations for DPA. They also understand what they need to do to, in order to be successful. Kelly understands her students' cognitive and physical abilities for her students and ensures that all students have opportunities throughout their day to be active. If you check out over here, we have our OFIA DPA Everyday Poster. If you want to access this poster, please check out teachingtools.ofia.net and search, check it out, DPA every day. And make sure that you access our newest videos for DPA and also share it. Share it with your families, share it with your educators, share it with your administrators. We need to make sure that everyone has a collective responsibility in this programming. Check out our newest resource, One A Day for Active Play. And make sure you leave your comments and questions today below, and we'll make sure we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Make sure you follow us, follow us at, at OFIA Canada, and add your comments and questions to share your DPA journey with us. And don't forget to use hashtag DPA every day. And make sure that you follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you so much, Kelly and students for allowing us to take a step into your classroom. Awesome!